Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Cooler Masters all-in-one closed loop water cooling for CPU, the Cyadon 120V, which comes in its second revision. Why is it in its second revision you may ask yourself and the reason why is that Cooler Master went in to polish out some of the flaws which first iteration had, like loud water pump and to enclose a better pressure optimized fan for the radiator. Putting that aside for a moment, the product box is rather simple and straightforward. We have a picture of the cooler itself on the front of it, with some features overview and socket support. On the side of the box we have a detailed specifications rundown for every part, while on the back a multilingual features explanation and a few pictures with pointed out dimensions for the parts. Opening up the box, first we stumble upon some user manuals. Here we have the included 120mm Silencio FP fan. Here's a bag with all the necessary parts for socket installation. And of course, last but not least, the pump and the radiator. As like the previous version, the new side on 120V Rev2 comes, as the name suggests, with a 120mm radiator, which is 28mm thick and has reasonably dense fins. Out of it, right from the top reservoir part of the radiator, comes very rigid but still flexible enough FEP tubing, which attaches to the CPU block and the pump. The connection on the block is somewhat angle adjustable, as you can see it here, but be careful as it has a lot of resistance to it. The outer design of the water pump and CPU block stayed practically the same. On the top we have the Cooler Master logo with glowing LED above it, as you'll see it later on in action, while the bottom houses nicely finished and polished out copper base, which of course goes directly into contact with the CPU. The block is powered with one 3-pin fan cable, which is covered in black rubber from head to toe, which is a plus for keeping the aesthetic uniformed. Same goes for the fan cable and it is even additionally braided on the top of that black rubber. The installation of the fan on the radiator is easy as you can see it here, even without the screwdriver, and you will also get additional screws for the second fan if you wish to do a push-pull configuration. Just as any other cooler installation process for a 2011 socket, especially for the all-in-one water coolers, everything is done in a matter of few minutes, very easy and self-explanatory. We put it onto our Core i7-5960X, plugged it in and gave it a run. Under idle the temperatures were somewhere around 25 degrees Celsius for all 8 cores, fan being inaudible and overcome by the pretty noticeable and buzzing sound of the pump as you can hear it here. Although it doesn't serve it just as it, it isn't in a case, but directly facing our ears in an open test bench, we still think it's going to be noisy. Under full load we were seeing temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius under Prime 95 small FFT testing and the fan working in automatic mode. Putting the fan to full speed temperatures went down to around 55 degrees Celsius on average, while noise of it expectedly went few decibels higher as you can hear it here. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Cooler Master Sade on 120V Rev2 closed loop water cooling. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.